Well, six people, including current and former Massachusetts state troopers, are facing federal charges. This comes after investigators uncovered a conspiracy where troopers would give out commercial driver's licenses in exchange for bribes. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live in studio with a breakdown of the allegations. Alex? Shannon and Mike, officials say this is a very serious matter of public safety that's been going on for years. The Massachusetts U.S. Attorney says these commercial driver's license, or CDLs, were basically for sale, accusing the state troopers who were recently arrested of basically accepting bribes to pass applicants no matter how they performed on their tests. For years, federal investigators have been looking into the Massachusetts State Police Commercial Drivers Licensing Unit. And now the head of the unit, Sergeant Gary Setterquist, along with another trooper, Joel Rogers, two former troopers, Calvin Butner and Perry Mendez, and two men, Eric Matheson and Scott Camera of Rehoboth, are facing federal charges, including extortion and falsification of records. Today's a sober reminder that, that none of us are above the law. The 74 count indictment accusing them of being part of a conspiracy where troopers would give passing scores for CDL licenses in return of a variety of gifts. A new driveway valued at over $10,000, a $2,000 snowblower, and other such items. Investigators found more than a dozen people who participated in the quid pro quo dating back to 2018. They also found text messages where troopers would joke about what they referred to as golden treatments. Sergeant Cedarquist allegedly texted defendant Matheson commenting, quote, this kid is an idiot and, quote, no idea what he is doing, end quote. And yet they still got the CDL license. The Massachusetts State Police Interim Superintendent condemning the actions, saying, quote, the alleged misconduct of those defendants is the antithesis of and in stark contrast to the values, character and integrity exhibited by the overwhelming majority of our troopers every day in service to the public. And not everyone who got their CDL license through the conspiracy was charged, as the Massachusetts U.S. Attorney says. It is an ongoing and active investigation. New at SITS, I'll go over what's changed in the CDL unit to avoid something from like this from happening again. Reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. New at 6, we've learned about the changes Massachusetts State Police have made after the recent arrest of two troopers and two former troopers. The four officers, along with two other people, are accused of being part of a conspiracy to give out commercial driver's licenses in exchange for gifts. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live with what's being done to prevent it from happening again. Alex. Well, Shannon, the Massachusetts U.S. Attorney says this conspiracy and the allegations are concerning because it puts the safety of drivers like you and me at risk. And once Massachusetts State Police learned of what was going on, they were quick to implement changes. A group of current and former state troopers are now facing federal charges, accused of giving out commercial driver's licenses in exchange for gifts, no matter how they performed on tests. The defendants allegedly displayed no regard for the public safety consequences of allowing people who didn't pass the test to have a CDL and operate commercial trucks. The Massachusetts U.S. Attorney says more than a dozen drivers got CDLs since August of 2018 without taking or passing the exam. And though he could not say what sparked the years-long investigation, he called the allegations. It's concerning to me just as someone who's driving on the roads that this happened, right? Uh, and it's probably concerning to everyone, everyone in this room. Uh, and you hope that something like this uh, cleans up a system where there's been such uh, such serious serious allegations of misconduct. Massachusetts State Police says they learned of the years-long investigation at the end of 2022. In the months following, the department transferred unit members, including the head of the CDL unit, Sergeant Gary Setterquist, who remains suspended as he faces federal charges in this investigation. State Police also now requiring body-worn cameras for all CDL exams, increased visits by unit supervisors, modernized unit record-keeping, adding new positions to increase supervision in all aspects when it comes to the CDL unit and training, as well as a new curriculum and training procedures. And four of the suspects appeared in federal court this afternoon. We are working to learn the details as to what happened inside of that courtroom. The other two suspects who were actually arrested in Florida are expected to appear in federal court in Boston at a later time. But for now, reporting live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.